Princess here again. So we're here with another tutorial. So what I'm doing is I'm using wire, regular craft wire to shape the shape of the mask that you see on the left. Check it out. And for this part, make sure that you have sturdy tape because you would need it to stay in place. So right here, you see me doing the bottom jaw, same thing as the top, make sure it's sturdy. Now what you see me doing is I'm putting another piece of wire to make sure that the jaw is sturdy. It's all about structure. So what I'm doing is I am using paper tape and I'm giving it weight. So you see me putting it piece by piece to make sure that it is sturdy. So once you are done with the tape, it's supposed to look like this. Same thing you do on the bottom, same thing you do on the top. Check it out. Now what you see me doing is I am building up my lips. 
So I am using liquid latex and cotton. Any type of cotton, any type of latex will do. Check it out. Anything you do on the bottom, you do on the top. Check it out. This is all going under paste so it doesn't have to be neat but make sure it is sturdy. Now you see me putting on the paste on the mask to make sure that I have that sturdiness that I am looking for. What you're seeing me do here is I am using clay to block my nose so under the mask I have room to breathe. Now you see me take more of the paste to build up that cotton because I am using teeth. Check it out. Now I am beginning to place my teeth. This is all your creativity. Do it as you will. In another video, I will show you guys how I made my flat teeth and my molars. 
check it out. bottom jaw all it is is back molars so like i said before if you want me to show you how i make mine let me know So you see me giving the bottom jaw texture. That's all it is. Favorite part, over powdering. Over powdering is a must. You do not want your mask to fold in itself when you're ready to put it on. Now I'm using the first color is red from the airbrush tattoo. And all I'm going to do is give this mask a base. Check it out. doing is i am giving the whole mask a bright red color check it out Now the next color is white from the airbrush tattoo and I'm doing the eyeballs to make sure that is very white so it can stand out. Check me out, check me out. Now the next color is coca from airbrush tattoo and i'm just giving it a skin texture for the outside and kind of the inside of the mask check it out Then we are going to neon pink. That is for the tongue. You can do the tongue any color you want. It's your creativity. So I'm just going to paint the tongue all over. So check me out. Check me out. Now that the tongue is done, I am using the neon pink just to give the inside of the mouth a mouth. 
color instead of just bright red. It's all about your dimension. Now, we are using black from Airbrush Tattoo and just doing the pupils for the eyes. Make sure you are careful because the airbrush is kind of tricky. Now you see me here giving more texture to the tongue. I just got a brighter red, a brighter pink, and just spotted all over the tongue. Now I used a alcohol-based palette to do the gums. I just used it as a base before. Check me out. I'm just taking the red before and just giving it more power for those gums. Check me out. So now that the painting is done, I am using varnish to conceal all of the colors together so they do not smudge. You can use clear nail polish if you don't have varnish. So if you like what you see, just make sure you are checking me out and how I put it on. I use liquid latex to put on all of my masks. That's it for the mad scientists. Thank you for stepping in the lab one more time. I want you to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and smash that notification bell. Period.